All right, we're back for another track guide. One of the last two that I'm doing this season. And this is actually my last race, because I'm not racing Phoenix. Anyways, we're at Martinsville, or Cautionsville, as it was formerly known as last time, because, well, 20-some cautions was the average. And yeah, I guess that's my best choice I made to run this as my last race. But anyways, keys to the race card, one tires as usual, especially the rears. Two, dive bombing as usual. Short track shenanigans. Keeping the tires on it again. Uh, three, I guess, would be... Keep it alive. Don't die. I, I don't even know anymore. That's a, that's, a, that's a great sign. I don't even know. Anyways, that's going to be it for the keys of the race car. You can see me coming to pit road here, and we'll talk about that in greater detail. So, on to that. All right, we're going to make our way to Pit Road, all the way down to 35 miles per hour at the yellow cone. Kind of overshot it. 35 miles per hour all the way down this miserable pit road. You can cut the corners a little bit. Sometimes it'll nail you with the penalty. Sometimes it won't. Just be careful on that. Leave my pit crew hanging again. And here I got a slow-mo because, you know, pit road speed ends here. And like two car lengths after that, you know, the cone to get on the track is right there. So there you go. And if you didn't notice on the previous laps, they were identical, so... I'm just gonna go with the second one, because it looked more consistent, even though I barely brushed the wall, but it didn't count as a 0x, so I count it. So, fix setup, fix weather, brake bias of 61. I think I went up a little on the offset, with a 12 to 1 steering. And that's it. And this lap was kind of tricky, but... Anyways, let's see how it was done. And there you go. You can see both lives identical at a 367. I did a three up there, but that was so messy. I didn't count it. So let's back it up on that map. All right, we're going to make our way into one. And I'm going to slow-mo this immediately because I need time to talk about what I'm doing. Because even I don't know. I kind of just thrown it in the corner and hoping it sticks. But anyways, full car length after this Cup Series logo. On the right here, you can see the black. About right here, I'm going to get really hard on the brakes. Threshold brake at quite a high brake pressure. Minute I start turning again, I release the brakes slowly and more slowly. You know, you're doing this gradually. You don't want to just jump out of the brakes or whatever you load up in the wall, but hard on the brakes until I'm in the center of the corner, I guess. I'm not good at it. Anyways, once I get to the center and Kind of let it roll down a little bit, and right here, you're going to see it barely turn to the left, and that's when I get on the gas. Pretty hard, just make sure you don't spin yourself and, you know, use all the track because you'll need it. And three is a similar story, except we're way past this black marker here. About two car lengths. So right here, we're hard on the brakes again. Pretty much identical to turn one. Now, there's a bump here in this transition. Sometimes that upsets the car, but we're going to trail big again all the way. To the center of the corner, once it rolls the tiniest amount, get on the throttle, which I actually do pretty quickly compared to turn one. But I might have been too quick on it. Stay as close to that curb as you can get without hitting it. And again, use all the track, which I did here, and there you go. Now, I mentioned to stay against the curb. I only said that in turn three. Yeah, that goes the same for turn one. All right, and that's it for this track guide. Couldn't really go more in depth even if I wanted to because it's a short track. And there's really not a lot to say about these kind of places. Just hard braking. Throttle up as soon as possible and try not to die. And next week, hopefully, it'll be more in depth as I plan to put more work into that to hopefully set the tone for next year. Assuming I do these next year because, well, I hate that piece of trash car, so... We'll see. Anyway, Samurai Sentry's side.